we believe that um, the, the, the private sector needs to team up with the public sector to address um, the aspect of avoided deforestation or to, 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 to create a scheme that allows for avoided deforestation to be integrated into the um, into a post-2012 framework. And um, we believe, for example, that um, it is very important to start or to still allow bottom-up, project-by-project crediting. Um, and then to integrate this into national approaches. So starting having actually two baselines, project baselines and national baselines, and making them merge. We, pretty, we very much believe that the nested approach that has been proposed by several research institutes provides an example for how this could be designed. Um, what we see from ODA assistance, from official development assistance projects in the forestry sector, which has spent millions of dollars to, to, to try to conserve Oh, to protect forests in, during the last decades, especially in Southeast Asia, and those millions of dollars were not not so well, not so effective. So we could draw the assumption as well that probably ODA finance did not find the right anchor to to, to deal with this problem. Um, I'm not I'm not saying that it wasn't effective at all. It has also contributed to change administrations and so on, but it's a very lengthy process. We believe we need to tackle the problems from both sides. So World Bank and policymakers should um, spend large efforts and, and funds to do capacity building, to get infrastructure in place, to get motorbikes, to get GIS systems, etc., etc. But on the other hand, also to provide incentives for early crediting for projects, for project activities, bottom-up project activities that work already now with local administrations, try to get projects on the ground now, try to get pilot projects, learning, um, learning experiences that shall then be fed into a more, um, well, into a national, national approach really. And of course these projects need to be embedded into um, policies, into national policies and international forest protection policies that need to be harmonized because clearly the matter of inter-country leakage or the, the problem is of inter-country inter leakage is, is, very, is very prevailing. It's what we see already that the Chinese logging ban, for example, results in, in deforestation elsewhere in other countries. So an international dialogue needs to be carried out, um, creation of policies at, between countries but also inside countries. And ideally they, they, they provide for some continuity and also for, for um, quite a stable political environment that allows private sector to, to put some money into these projects and, and do that.